Following tubes and tube sets are available. Place the suction lances in a bucket with demineralized water. After the pump has stopped, place the suction lances in an empty bucket and repeat fill system to empty the tubes. If there is a cleaning module installed, continue with the following procedure. Place the suction lens of container 2 in the bucket with demineralized water. After the pump has stopped, place the suction lens in an empty bucket and repeat the fill system to empty the tubes. Stop sample flow and wait until the flow cell is completely empty. Shut off the power for the instrument. The instrument is now ready to have the pump tubes exchanged. Stop sample flow. The peristaltic pump runs in the reverse mode. If only the tubing will be changed, the answer is no. After the instrument has been switched off, it is ready to have the periclip tubing exchanged. Place the suction lenses in the bucket with demineralized water. After the pump has stopped, stop sample flow. Shut off the power for the instrument. The instrument is now ready to have the pump tubes exchanged.
open occlusion frames by turning them counterclockwise. Remove the first occlusion frame from the rotor by pulling the complete occlusion frame out of the holder. This mount the reagent or sample tube from the occlusion frame. Mount these tubes directly to the new periclip tube frame. Be sure to select the correct tube as they are of different diameters. Proceed this way with all remaining tubes. Push the occlusion frames onto the rotor by stretching the tube slightly to slide it over the rollers. Lock the occlusion frames. Be sure to adjust them to be directed parallelly to the pump module. The tube must be placed well beneath the frame. Place the suction lenses in the corresponding reagent containers. Start the fill system procedure and observe if the tubing is filled completely with liquid and without any air bubbles.